The pickles. <laughs> the pickles. <laughs> I could go fishing? This is near. Wow. Yes. Let's just make every song this song. A police car. Our office is open from 9 to 7. Is this my car? You're giving me a car? So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? What happened? Let's take it for a spin. What happened to my car then? Where's my car? Where's my stuff? Where's. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Yeah. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Okay. Oh boy. Boost, side brake, accelerate, brakes, reverse, change view, talk, headlights, change view, honk, uh, steer. Oh, honk is also steer. Okay, wipers on, uh, off, signal left, signal right. Okay. Got the master key. I can open all doors now. I got a flare. Thanks. Okay, please. Please do not. Uh, I do not need to be in first person. Okay, so. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, so, just, just so it's out so, Zach, there. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. <laughs> yeah, and remember yes. when that video York. store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? York, I don't know how to drive! Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, and written and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. Wait, no, oh, uh, so break, 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 re break, 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 reverse, reverse, long reverse. The release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. Break or left. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. I agree. York. Okay, Blake, go off now. <laughs> I don't know how to try. <laughs> so this is very strange. Uh, break. A little bit. Side, side break. Slow down. We need to slow down. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, speed, speed up. Uh, you should always be uh, a couple cars distances away from the car in front of you, right? Eight or so, I believe is the the rule. So I don't need to accelerate, I'm just kind of cruising along. I'm not drifting. Uh, please, please, hurry, hurry, hurry up, hurry along. Oops, no, no, we're accelerating. So I would like to investigate this bar. You don't mind, do you, York? Let's just pull in here. Oh god. Uh mm-hmm. 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 Uh yeah, blinker off. 
Oh, nice. Look at that, York. First time driving, first time parking job. Zach, is I think there we did something good. that you want to check out? We're supposed yes. to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Yeah, I, I want to... We ought to see what this town has to offer, right, York? Closed? Does that say closed? <sighs> Never mind. We'll get in the car. I kind of wanted to go see the dog, but I had to walk all the way around. Yes, we're backing up. Uh, no, ba backing up. Backing up. Don't worry, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll get there, York, we'll get there. It takes a little, little bit of getting used to. I missed a talking point. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly oh, Spawn. Right. Right. Do you remember that one, Zach? No, Back tell me about it. Directed by Douglas McCown. Right. It was filled with faster, cheap, but still it was pretty good. Go the faster. Design with Go faster. Full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious B movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. Well, the rental store didn't have it for some reason. Maybe we can so make the that up. The sequel was totally different from the original. Feature. Wonder how the sequel turned out. Okay, that was a bad you know, turn. The in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Hmm. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in '89, directed by Ron Underwood. Is that a now, that race? That's a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. Well, sounds like we got a lot of movies to watch, York. Straight away as the right away, right? Indeed. Don't worry, we'll make the turn, we'll make the turn, we'll make the turn! We made it, York. Oh no. Oh no, there's truck. There's truck. <laughs> turn your turn. Turn your turn. Okay, we stop. We stop. We stop. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior looks like a Ah, yes. Don't you agree, Zach? Yeah, reminds me of a Half-Life 2 map. Deathmatch, that is. Source is all that really matters. A turkey sandwich. An unbelievably delicious turkey sandwich will satisfy a large amount of your hunger. Aw, oh, man. I want a turkey sandwich. Well, I want turkey. Are you, uh, the assistant? What's your name? Uh, uh. Oh, please don't walk like that again. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. You're Thomas McLean, please. the sheriff's assistant. Please call me old. That's what everyone calls me. Thomas, right. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call please me. Just call me York. That's what everyone else calls me. Just have Very it your well forehead. Then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. No, no, just doing my job. You gonna ask about what happened to my car? I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. You stop tilting your head like that. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. Well, she was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. It was Sorry. large, so I it's hear. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. Indeed. I, I, I understand. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y 
Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. All right. They stop Zach, running like Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type. Yeah. Totally at odds with the monarch. What is wrong with your forehead? Oh, setting for a cartoon. <laughs> What's wrong with the the veins in your forehead, York? Hmm. Wow, a wireless phone. Don't see that every day, York. Well, I guess you do. We just don't really have the pleasure of having an advanced one ourselves. Yes. Let us take a look around. As I interpret that, he meant to go look through everything. And that's just what I plan to do. Guess they meet guests in this room. The joy of small towns. Indeed. I'm a guest. Ah, Emily. Let me observe you. She's quite pretty. She'd look better wearing something more fashionable than this dull uniform. Agree, Zack? Well, I don't think the uniform's that bad. Hi. Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York. I got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the key to that cabinet with the files. And asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. Yeah. It... Hi. Let me know if there's anything I can help with. Oh, there's nothing I need help with. Why don't you lend Thomas a hand? Looking for the key? I hardly know my way around the place. I'd help out too, but I've kind of got my hands full. No keys are allowed to be taken outside, so the key should be somewhere in the office. You'd be surprised how many things leave the room, Emily. <sighs> how many things leave the building that they're not supposed to leave? Pockets exist. Looks hard to work. I could probably get the same work done while reading a book. Uh, I don't think this is the time to brag, York. Sheriff's room? Sheriff's room. Hello, George. George, do you work out every day? Uh, of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't Excellent. missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. I'll remind you to quit I your can't addictions. Do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Yeah, Can't of course. Can't work out menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. And this Sylvester. Lost Arnold, start. These my side quests. Okay. George has lost his beloved Arnold somewhere in the sheriff's office. What? Wait. It's not a person? Okay. Zach, look at this. Oh, now this is something special. It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. It's perfect. Yep. I agree. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You do with them. see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. I wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. Okay, uh, hold on now there, York. Try to observe. The Almighty King's Throne. Quite classy. Beats the FBI outright in the eco category. Yeah. Suppose he doesn't have enough shelves for his trophies. <laughs> oh, that's not a door. That's a mirror. Wow. A mirror <laughs> with baseball bat sticks to it. Wow, that is a recipe for disaster, wouldn't you say, George? Don't bother me unless you have something really important. 
Already have enough to worry about with Arnold missing. Yeah, what? What is Arnold? I'm, I'm not understanding this Arnold Sylvester thing. I'm guessing Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Are they supposed to be like gloves? Did you lose your gloves? Is that what you're saying? First of all, it has nothing to do with the investigation. We can still talk to them. We can be friendly, York. You ever think about that, York? Getting some friends? I understand life as an FBI special agent it can be a little taxing, but uh, I think we have time to make some friends along the way. Let's over our face against some doors, see if we can't enter some. Yes. Can't leave now. Especially not through the fire exit. That might be a problem. Hmm. Okay. So we're looking for the key. Obviously. Also looking for Arnold. Well, if you could show me what Sylvester looks like, George, I might be able to help in the Arnold category. Thomas's locker. You can also picture the tidiness of its contents. Looks like Emily's locker. Curious as to what's inside, though we shouldn't be snooping around. Well, it's kind of our job, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> are we gonna work out? Long-tailed flying squirrel. Oh. I see. Is that what we're looking for? It's hardly a mystery who uses these, is it, Zach? Indeed. In. Indeed. What is that? Is that a fitness magazine? Protein powder? Just simply fascinating. What is this? Oh. Our suitcase, so we may change our clothes if we so desire. However, I'm quite fond of this workaholic outfit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like a red suit. But, uh, maybe not with his atmosphere. Right, York? We got some pretty nasty red things going on. Guessing that's the mission. We're looking for Arnold. Oh, George, I find it. And, uh... Okay, more keys. How many keys are we looking for? I'm not about to shave in their kitchen sink. Is this... Zach. Arnold? We found Arnold. Ah. Let's get him back to George. I guess it's yeah. a cute name for a dumbbell. Well, that was easy. <laughs> why is it in the kitchen? I was gonna say, why did you find it in the kitchen, George? But then I, then I realized, why is it here in the first place? Tur a turkey sandwich! Now, isn't that something special, York? We just took their only source of food. And none will be the wiser. Not even if we tell George that we just came from the kitchen. No one would ever suspect it. Anyway. George! George! Hey, George! I've got a surprise for you! Why are you using dumbbells if you have a, a, a rack? Agent Morgan, do you want something? Yes, well... George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Yeah, we're Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Is it money? You gonna pay me for finding your Arnold? You got Arnold and Sylvester. So a that card? makes us even. 
I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. You gave me a no card of your dumbbells? Just bear that in mind. Zack, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. <laughs> uh, I feel like we could benefit from the same thing, York. Oh, they also gave me 200, 200 bucks. I, you know, I suppose that makes us even. I, I mean, I, I appreciate the car and all, but 200 bucks certainly is something else. Wouldn't you agree, York? Although, it seems we've missed two, three other side missions? Three, I believe. Wonder where those are, York. And who are you two? But there's two of them. But there's two of them! We could talk to two people, York! Whatever. Obviously, we need to go through that one room, but I would like to go through this door first. What do you think's down here, York? Jail cell? Is it locked? Sure isn't. I'll just let myself inside. And yet, I will casually walk by him. That's for the warden. Is it even in use? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, uh, no real criminals to speak of, huh? I could sh I could sleep in their beds should I so desire. And what is happening in here? Is it perhaps another key? Indeed, curvy-tailed squirrel keys. It says keys, but it's just one. Hmm. Wonder where this goes. Can I observe? Thought I saw an observe prompt for a second. Whatever. Hmm. Somehow I don't think this is working as I intended. Quite disappointing. But uh, a door hidden in a jail cell. Wonder what that's all about. Hmm. We actually have a prisoner. Hopefully we'll be bringing the culprit soon. That'll mean the end of our little vacation here. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you, sir. Though I guess... Doesn't really matter. I thought that was a vent. Well. Okay, we got a bunch of keys. Wonder if any of them go to the cabinets we're attempting to open here. Did I just... I just came from this way. But there's a whole other hall for us to explore, York. Gotta find out what's down there. Hmm. Well, first of all... Let's try not to fire our guns inside, York. I'm sure people would not like that at all. 10 millimeter... Millimeter auto bullets? I don't know what that's about. Oh, right, my flashlight. Ooh. A shooting range. And some keys. Okay, so we got moving targets. These are stationary. No, they're moving too. Slower. What do you say, York? To some, uh, practice shooting. Sure, no one will mind. If we test our our shots. Can I auto aim this? Cannot. Can't even see my bullets. My my bullet marks. I have acquired. Hmm. Have I Fire from that exchange. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know.
I'm not sure what I acquired from that. But I got something for shooting. Alright, well. Oh. I got 10 millimeter auto bullets. I see. Interesting. Well, we don't have a submachine gun yet. Though I suppose when we do, we'll have quite the ammo for it. Though I'm not sure 270 bullets is a lot of bullets. Or a uh, submachine gun. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Don't you agree, York? Alright. Let's see if we found all the keys for Thomas. Or any keys for Thomas. But let's, uh... Look around first. Anything of interest? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what kind of system is this? I, I really don't comprehend what this is. Well, there's nothing of value for me. What's going on, Thomas? Agent York, did you find the key? <laughs> sheriff's office, sheriff's office, sheriff's office. I found a lot of keys. Is this the key? You found the key. I hope so. Ah. Uh, no. This is a sugar glider. Sorry, what? wrong key. It's a the sugar, sugar glider. glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. Uh, what really what key am I looking for? This image, can't you? But we're looking okay. for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, okay. Can you tell these things apart? I was not aware that that's what we were looking for. But I suppose I kind of circumvented the puzzle here. Southern... Flying squirrel. Well, this looks... Uh... Oh, he said flying squirrel. This is a flying squirrel. You found the key. That's the right one. Oh. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you oh. so much. I'll bring the files right in, so... Please, go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. Before I even knew what the case was. Yes. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school year old. this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But... For the time being, she was working in the A&G Diner here in town. She lived with her All mother, right. Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Terrible. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance to money from her York? husband's accident. With your hands? Have you seen this child? After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. I have no idea what you just said. They seem to get by fine, and they led normal I was lives. focused on the donut normal that we were about to eat with our hands. exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. Is it? I mean, yeah, of course. Of course it is. You are about to eat this with your hand. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Wow! Mm, Thomas! It's amazing! What are you doing in law enforcement? Very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance uh -huh. of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. It's you your, are welcome please. to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, 
Stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. <laughs> Let's get going. Please, don't you let me drive. Please don't let me drive. Police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. I doubt it. Man, this biscuit. Sheriff office. That took me quite a while. Nice. Nice. We earned like seven hundred dollars today, York. And we didn't even do anything. We ate a biscuit. Shot some bullets. <laughs>